All right, so here we have the Swan model 700 CX 10 through 80 meter HF transceiver. Uh, this particular one is in very nice physical condition and it is operating correctly. It puts out near, well, I don't know, I don't want to push it. It's been sitting a while, so I'm getting a good solid 150 watts in the uh, tune position. Um, and so uh, it, it does jump a little bit higher than that. But uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and just real, do a real quick key up here. I have this in the 500 watt setting there. And so as you key it up, it, it's a eh, little, well, yeah, there we go. It's about 200 watts actually. Yeah, right at 200. And that's about right. It might do a little bit more, but I didn't want to uh, uh, do too much with the, the set because it has been sitting a while. But uh, and you want to be careful with these. Uh, the tubes is probably a pair of 8950s, I believe. I think that's what's in these. And I will uh, check when I pop the lid off. But uh, physically very nice, as you can tell. Also, it has the matching 117XC power supply. It has a little scratch right there in the front there, but not too terrible bad. And the, the speaker works as it should. Um, it receives very nice. Uh, the VFO knob tuned smoothly. Now this does not come with this microphone. I'm, I'm just using the, the microphone to uh, do a test here. Uh, so that's my uh, little hand mic that I use for other purposes. But uh, you can use different uh, mics with the thing. Plugs right in the front there. And as you can see, uh, I'll show you the controls. I've got the, I had the carrier balance turned over so that I could uh, key it up that way. But here's your mic uh, control gain control here, band selector here, moving along the function switch, uh, we've got receive, calibrate, transmit, there's a CW and tune mode, normal and opposite for sideband, um, here's your AF gain, RF gain control, the RF gain control is this little ring on the outside here, and uh, usually you want it most of the way down, if not all the way, uh, ANL, here's your calibrator choices between uh, 25 and 100 KC, uh, the dial set, which I don't know why it's way over like that, but uh, that probably is where you know it uh, adjusts uh, the frequency. Uh, here's your output level meter, uh, push to talk, and vox control here. And then here's your uh, how you load up the thing, uh, and also for receive. Basically, with these uh, older rigs like this, you tune the plate and the PA grid for maximum noise, and then of course the course load. You know, I usually start at three or four in there, and depends on what band you're on is what uh, setting you'll want the course load. Uh, for instance, if you're on 10 meters, you'll probably want to be in six or seven. Uh, same for 20 meters, um, and then for 40 and 80, usually a little bit more of the smaller numbers uh, seem to be more appropriate for that. Uh, and if you have the manual, it will uh, let you know about those things. So it's uh, fairly easy to use. Here's your main. Uh, VFO uh, knob and these things are really cool they have a, a fast as you can see the center knob spinning quickly or you can just simply turn that one for a more slow approach getting on the frequency so we'll do a receive test in a bit but there it is the Swan model 700 CX HF transceiver